essentially what I'm trying to imply is that uh, if you are one who perceives that the world needs saving or that there is something amiss or something to be fixed, I just want to say that in my honest, both intellectual and visceral emotional opinion about this subject, it's not going to be a daunting task. It doesn't have to be a daunting task. I think it would only be effective to effort towards the saving of the world slash your world, our world, if it is not a daunting task in the sense that it's going to be fun. It has to be fun and funny. It has to be silly. It won't work unless it comes from a place of sacred silliness and just... Uh, the situation that we have is absolutely absurd, and it's not a matter of fighting absurdity with absurdity, really. So I'm here at that thing in the desert where a, a flaming piano was just launched by a trebuchet. Uh, no one was injured. It's, uh, it's quite safe. We make certain of that. Um, and I just want to say that it got me thinking that, uh, is it so crazy? Uh, what, what we do here at, at the Bernie Man thing, or, or is, it, is it not entirely sane? Uh, essentially, I slash we want to show these motherfuckers the menu, and I'm not implying that they, you know, dock genitals with their matriarch, uh, just as a general term. I would like to effort my entire life to show all of the biofractal, uh, maybe just narrow down to humanity, to show all humans that there's a menu, that there are choices, and that maybe not everybody wants to be all weirdo, freaky dinky stuff, and I'm just like, I don't want it all the time. But with freedom, folks will choose the right thing. I'm finding out more and more that we're actually pretty smart. We just, it's like in the Men in Black quote where it's like, uh, a person is smart, people are stupid. That we, We've got a mob mentality thing that is making us do too much mucky goo goo shit. Uh, and we understand how to prickle now, so we'll take our prickly, our prickly logic and technology and we'll and we'll goo that. So we, we have prickly goo now. We know how to how to fire the ooze of right angles. There's too much crypticized metaphorical shit going on here. Uh, Basically what I'm saying is that all of the things that uh, quote unquote need to happen now or that should for, for us to, to do better with this situation that we're in, uh, just being entirely befuddled by uh, the suchness of this moment and the ridiculous fact of what we are, I think, I think it is fun and funny and should continue to be and that you I'm both, I'm paradoxically both saying that I think you can relax, Magical Chartle, and uh, we got work to do. Our business is with Isengard tonight. Uh, there is a thing, it's not an enemy, it's not a human enemy, it's a, we gotta change our minds. And changing your mind can be a lot of fun. Um, because it's experiencing what options we have and what we can do. And uh, I think folks will opt for freedom, and I think freedom organically opts for as much bliss as we can have here. Then we go to the stars and the moon. Maybe not particularly the moon, but we go to places elsewhere and inward and whatever. And this is very general, but I love you all just for existing. That's very general too. But when I say love, that does not mean like. It's not the same as admire. What I mean is I accept you as an aspect of our quagmire sort of thing, you know? It's about bringing the, the turtles together. Because I've, I've observed that whenever you bring turtles together, they meet. And uh, that meeting, like the meeting that I had recently in the desert with said golden turtle, changes our lives. Usually for the better, because why are you gonna seek somebody out if they're not changing your life for the better? That's like maybe they're like, you're like, you're like pimp. Or like the fox in Pinocchio. Like, kind of a pimp. Anyway, the positive spectrum of things. Turtles, turtles gotta get together. We gotta bring the turtles together. And the way you do that is you inspire them by going first. Turtles just wanna be happy and bubbles wanna live. We had a situation with a goldfish when I was a child where this carny girl was like, the fish was dying or dead and she was like, it wants to live, it wants to live. Well, of course it wants to live. Everything is clinging into life. That's why death and ego death is terrifying. They're different things. 
there's too much to be said, so it ends up always being uh, a rant. But uh, yeah, that's all.